welcome back to another video this is part two of my makeup and declutter video if you haven't watched part one yet it will be linked in the description box below so go check that out and then come back and watch this video so that you are all caught up on where we are and following the process and without further ado let's jump into part two of this massive makeup overhaul enjoy sorted out my lip liners from my eyeliners so these are all my eyeliners that I have and these are all my lip liners and I'm thinking I want to combine my lip liners with one of my lipstick containers so all my lip products are in one space and then my eyeliners I'm going to somehow combine them with all my eyeshadows in this eyeshadow drawer but as you can see i have not even started on this drawer because it's like such a mission and such a mess and there's so much stuff in here oh and then all my brushes were in this little cubby hole here so i've taken them out and i've dusted them off and i've put them in this little pot and i want to kind of leave them on this desk somewhere so they're easy access because like smaller brushes like this teasing comb and this comb Kind of got lost oh. everything's falling kind of got lost in the straw so when i needed to find them i couldn't find them so at least now everything is visible and i can see everything so these are my mascaras that i've just decluttered well i've tried to organize so these are the ones that i'm going to be keeping and these are the ones that i need to get rid of because they are finished and they are dry so the ones that I'm keeping is my Luxury Lashes Dramatic Volume. So that's really nice. I really like that one. My Benefit They're Real. Really cool. My Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is a Chanel um, Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. This is my Clinique. Oh, this is Alme. Alme Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara. This is my Clinique one, and it's actually a green mascara, but it looks black on your lashes, but very, very pretty. Um, this one is my Rimmel Super Curler Mascara, and this is my Maybelline Upper and Lower Lash Mascara. So because I'm getting rid of my MAC Giga Black because it's finished, the lower mascara of this is really nice. Um, the brush is very thin and kind of separates your lashes really nice. So I'm going to keep this one simply for the lower lash mascara on this. And then these two, this is my MAC Giga Black Mascara. So I need to get rid of this because obviously it is now finished. And this is my favorite mascara of all time. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been using this mascara for years and I've repurchased it about 10 times now. And this one is finished and I'm so sad about it, but I have to get rid of it because it's dry and I can't use it anymore. And then this is my eyelash curler. So I'm thinking, I don't know where I'm going to put these mascaras. They were initially in this little bowl, pot, cup, whatever you want to call it. But depending on space, I might put them back in there or, or I might find somewhere else to put them. Okay, so I have emptied out the eyeshadow drawer and put it all on my bed and i still have all of this to go through oh my gosh i'm so exhausted i don't know and i have all of those palettes there all of these palettes here these i don't even know what those are right now i've just sorted out my mascaras and then these are eyeshadow primers these are the mac painterly paint pots so they're also eyeshadow primers and then i have like a bunch of smaller palettes and oh my gosh i don't even know where i'm gonna put these i have like hi so i have like these drawers here all of these ones here and I have the that one there and I have that one there 
and I have this drawer here. This this drawer keeps all my hair stuff. It's just it's like a pull-out drawer, so you just pull it out, and then all the my hair stuff is in there. And then the last drawer underneath here is all my sunglasses. So I just have this drawer, and I have this one, two, three, four, five. But I still also need to put all of this stuff away. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. And it's so hard to pack these smaller eyeshadows. Um, because they're not like palettes. So you can't like stack them. But the reason why I like these smaller shadows is that when you're doing like ballroom makeup or Latin makeup. It's much easier to pack these smaller ones and then just use colors that are suitable to your specific dress. So these are nice blending colors that I take with me. This is also a really nice color for your crease. And then these, like this bright pink, these purples, these neutrals, this blue here. Um, this is a really nice um, dark brown shimmer that shines in, under the night light. Um, and then these are all individual shimmers so those ones work really well for dancing and that's why i have them so i can just literally pick and choose the colors that i need and pack those when i'm going for a competition or whatever the case is so that's why there's so many little ones here but i need to figure out what i'm going to do with them My palettes up sideways with a few that didn't fit then these are all my eyeshadow primers and colors and then here I've put in all my singles there's a few eyeshadow palettes here that stacked down as well and then there's just the single eyeshadows and then these are more of my eyeshadow primers for some eyeshadow single eyeshadows that didn't fit there and I thought I might as well put them in my dancing kit because I will need them for dancing anyway. I hardly ever use them for my makeup, everyday makeup. So they are just these ones here that I just put in here because I'll use them more when I'm competing than I do at home. So I've just put them in here. I could also do a video one day about what I carry in my dancing kit and my dancing bag, but that is for another day. So this is what the foundation drawer, well, this initially was the foundation drawer and this is what, what it looks like now. I've just put all my foundations here, more foundations. As you can see, these are my eyebrow products and eyebrow kits. This little drawer stores all my concealers. I have eyelashes and these are face powders and a bobbi brown eye cream which i apply before i do my makeup just to make sure my under eyes are moisturized and these are some eyeliners then in the next drawer i have put in all my contour palettes all my blushes bronzes highlighters are all in here and then over here are some liquid eyeliners and then this is just like a cardial pen um a coal cardial liner so i just put those in there and that is this drawer done the next drawer just has all my eyeshadow palettes over there nicely neatly packed away and then here i've just put in all my single eyeshadows some smaller eyeshadow palettes here um and then these are some eyeshadow base primers and these are also some eyeshadow base primers to the vertical drawer this is just where i put all my um quick access products so at the back there you'll see there's some um, tools for my suits and then this is just a deodorant perfume and lip ice for everyday use the next shelf i've just put in my lip liners because they're easy access because all my lipsticks are now on my counter so this is just all my lip liners and then at the back i store all my makeup sponges i've just washed all of these so i need to put them out to dry before i put them away but i've just put them here just so you can see what it all looks like the next shelf is a pull out box situation and this is just all my setting sprays and face priming products 
The next shelf has all my, so at the back there, those are eyeshadow sticks and eyeliners. And then these are my mascaras. And then at the top here, I've just moved my jewelry. If you remember, my jewelry was in this little corner here and I've moved it here. And I've just put my nail case set here and these are just some grooming tools in here. This is what my new countertop is looking like. So what I wanted is I wanted to have all my lip products at an easy access because if you remember these were stored up there before and my eyeliners were with my lip liners and it was just it was just all very confusing so now at least it's all separate i have my lip liners here which are easy access and my eyeliners at the top there and then here i've just got all my lipsticks these are all my mac lipsticks that's also a mac lipstick i've got all my catrice lipsticks here easy access these are all my huda beauty these are some liquid lipsticks that i've put in here and these are my nyx lipsticks and then i have a body mist which i like to spray on every now and again when i don't want to use deodorant or perfume and then there's a hand cream these are all my other lipsticks they're all kind of all over the show they're not like any set so they are all here and those are some lipsticks lipstick sticks at the back and then these are my hairbrushes, much easier to access. And then the last vertical shelf, this is just where I keep my face cloths because I like to put a face cloth down on my lap before I do my makeup to avoid messing myself. And then these two shelves, I've literally just put all my brushes. So this is all my eyebrow brushes. Those are eyeshadow brushes at the back here. This is just like a really cool rose gold base brush but that I got I hardly ever use it but it's nice to have from the body shop then these are more smaller brushes at the back we have the bigger brushes there and then these are my face brushes so all my face brushes are stocked at the back and when I need to use them all I do is I just pull them out use them and put them back away so they neat and nobody can see them and they're not on display and lastly, this black part here is an eyeshadow palette. It's a huge palette um, that I showed you before and it doesn't fit in any of the other drawers. So I've put it here. And then this is my nail polish remover. And then at the back, I just have my Laura Mercier brush cleaner if I need to clean my brushes. And that is it. And then if I just close it, I have my scrunchies from Cotton On and I have a little hair grip here. And that is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's much cleaner, much more organized, and definitely prettier. Okay, guys, so that is the end of my makeup declutter and organization. I have finally completed it. I didn't organize or declutter these two drawers simply because they don't store makeup. They store my handbags and perfumes and extra stuff in there. So those two drawers weren't decluttered and neither was this one. As I mentioned, this one is for my hair tools and products. So that drawer I'll deal with at a later stage. But today was just about makeup. So all three of these drawers are done. These drawers are done. And these drawers are done and this is what my new counter looks like. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos. Give me a thumbs up down below if this was useful to you. If it maybe inspired you to clean your own makeup closet yourself. And comment down below anything you would like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.